really what I wanted to talk to you today about is what can consumers do to make sure the food they prepare in their kitchens is more safe or, you know, what are some ways that mm -hmm. we can learn from what restaurants do? Okay. Um, there's a lot that uh, homeowners can do to take the same kind of food safety um, steps. Uh, and the, the FDA has a, a good website that's designed just for for food safety stuff geared towards the homeowner. Um, and that's at www.foodsafety.gov. But they basically talk about the main four points, which would be clean, separate, cook, and chill. And uh, they talk about you know washing your hands and starting with clean surfaces. Um, by separate, they mean to not cross-contaminate, like with, don't do raw chicken on a cutting board and then make your salad on that same cutting board. You know, so keep ma mainly raw m meat juices and those things away from everything else that you're cooking or, not, or um, you know, preparing. Um, the cooking part is making sure that you cook things thoroughly and make sure that the hamburgers are cooked uh, to well done, that the chicken is cooked to 165. And there's, uh, on that website is a nice little table that kind of tells you the, the temperatures that you can cook to, or at least a ways that you can figure out, are they done. Do you recommend a thermometer or a type of gadget? Uh, um, um, a thermometer works really well. The, the, they now make little digital ones that are really quick and pretty inexpensive and especially if you're cooking you know like your turkey mm -hmm. you know, don't don't rely on the little pop-up button oh really okay okay um, tell us why because uh, I, I know that's an argument with some of my friends <laughs> um, I mean they um, the little pop-up button it, it, I mean it's certainly better than nothing yeah um, but it's um, what that doesn't know is well did you put say stuffing inside and which is not a re not something that we generally recommend um, or you know it, it it's presuming that you're you're doing the basic I'm gonna stick this thing in the oven and I'm gonna cook it uh, and um, d if it's in the wrong place or I don't know, it, uh, a thermometer can give you a much better indication of, oh it's it's at 135, I need to get to 165, we're, we're close. Mm -hmm. uh, the button's only going to pop up when it's done. So it really, it, it doesn't help you understand, are we, are we getting there? It's just, oh, we're there. Okay. Um, and, um, and then also you can use that thermometer for other things that you're, are, are your hamburgers done? Or, you know, instead of having to cut into them, or... Um, Do you wash your thermometer, though, each time, like... You just treat it like you would... Oh, well, you wouldn't necessarily need to wash when it. When you check the meat. Right. Um, you would um, treat it like any other utensil. I mean, if you if you stick it into raw hamburger, then, yeah, you're going to wash it before you do anything else with it. But if you're checking, are, are, the, are the burgers done, um, then you can, you can keep checking them. You okay. Know, you don't necessarily need to wash it in between unless it's raw, then it's... Sure. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, but um, the especially things like um, uh, cooking, like say brats, mm -hmm. you know, things like that are raw pork sausage. They're pretty big. Um, and you can certainly char up the outside nicely on a grill, but are they really cooked on the inside? Mm. And uh, that's where a thermometer makes it really easy to figure it out. 